Hey, 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 beautiful, beautiful. It's a good, beautiful Thursday morning, and I am Coach Renee, your holistic health and wellness strategist, coming to you every single week and every single day with tips, tools, and resources that you can use to amplify your holistic health journey in this new great year, 2024. So, Today is Thursday and we're going to call it Thankful Thursday and I'm going to be sharing some tips, tools, and resources or some, some positive uh, affirmations that you can put inside your new vocabulary, your mind, your brain, right? Tell yourself every day so you can get moving into action. So this is Thankful Thursday. We're going to call this and I'm going to share those with you as I prepare my breakfast for this morning. I've already had my water. I've already had my water. That's just a little bit that's left. And then um, my carrot juice that I'm drinking. I've already had some, so I'm gonna finish this up. Those are the liquids that I have in the morning when I first wake up. Um, well, first I have my probiotics. That's what I put on my system inside my system on an empty stomach then I have my liquids my water and my carrot juice and if I don't have my carrot juice I'll have some type of herbal tea but I am fixing my breakfast this morning uh, but that's not the gist of this video the gist of this video today is to inspire you give you some words that you can use to put into your daily habits, your daily thought process, right? So as we go through that, I hope I can encourage you and inspire you into taking action with some of these, these words that I'm sharing with you, okay? All right, and remember, I shared with you in a couple of videos back that every day is not gonna be so chippery and it's not going to look you know so great and you might not feel energized you may not have the energy that you did the day before but it's okay so we're not perfect right and so when i come on and share my tips to uh, resource and resources with you and how you can get your body on track to live your healthiest your best life i'm not gonna always be looking the greatest right and it's okay right because God made us in his image and he didn't make no mistakes. I, I said that to you in the previous video, so we won't go into that. But anyway, so as I prepare my breakfast for this morning, I want to th um, share with you some things that I've been so thankful for and grateful for and that I get up in the morning and I remind God how grateful and how thankful I am for his amazing grace, right? His amazing grace. So, get your pen and your paper ready so you can jot some of these down. And I just put on my apron this morning just because I'm in the kitchen and, you know, things might get on my clothes that I don't want on there. So, anyhow, uh, so get your pen and your pad ready. And I would encourage you to, if you haven't already done so, get yourself a journal that you can write your thoughts in, write the new things that you're learning for this new year. Um, it's, you know, have yourself a food journal, right? You might, like me, sometimes I have different journals that I write in, one for my thoughts, one for what I want to accomplish, for this new year whatever that thing is sometimes I have multiple journals that I write in and I visit all of them and maybe the course of the day right so you don't have to do that but it's like it's a thought it's a thought so all right you should have your pen and your paper your pad your journal whatever it is by now so the first thing I think about um, and these, although this is Thankful Thursday, these are everyday thoughts, everything, everyday 
words that I share with God, that I recite to myself that I'm grateful for. And this come out in a form of prayer. This comes out in a form of meditation. This can come out in the form of whatever, you know, your, your daily routine is, okay? So, number one, I'm thankful for a healthy mind, body, and soul. That's always number one for me because without my mind, a healthy mind, and my healthy body, it's hard for me to do much of anything, right? Because I'm so focused on maybe the pain or how I'm feeling or how I'm not feeling. So when I, great, when I wake up in the morning, I'm always thankful for a healthy mind, a healthy body, a body that's not full of pain, you know? So that's number one for me. Uh, I'm thankful for the Freedom of Choice Award, right? I have the ability to be free. I have the ability to choose for whatever that thing is. You know, I have the ability to come in the kitchen and look in my refrigerator and pick out whatever type of food that I want to cook for the morning, for the, my lunch, or for my evening meal. I have the ability to, I'm thankful for the Freedom of Choice Award to go work out, to walk to the store, walk, take a walk down the street in nature. These might seem mundane or simple, but I don't take any of these for granted because at some point I may not be able to walk, right? Which doesn't sound, you know, exciting or inviting. So these are some of the things that we want to be reminded of that don't take these things for granted. Don't take these things for uh, lightly, right? I'm thankful for my family. You know, I'm thankful for my family and their health and their well-being as well. I'm thankful that uh, they are able to take care of their children, right? They're able to take care of themselves. These are things that we have to always be reminded of, you know? We can't just get up and not think about our families and our friends, you know? Thankful for my friends. I'm thankful for uh, people who love me, right? I'm thankful for people who respect me and who respect my space. And it sounds mundane, but it's a lot to be thankful for. I'm thankful for God's grace. God's grace and his mercy. I'm thankful for his grace and his mercy. I'm making um, eggs and broccoli this morning and uh, some quinoa. I'm gonna have some quinoa on top of that. I had some quinoa left over from um, last night's meal. So I'm just gonna saute the broccoli a little bit before I do my eggs. But anyway, so I'm thankful for my car. I'm thankful for the ability to get in my car and drive to and from wherever the thing is I wanna go, right? Um, yes, I'm thankful for my car and the ability. I'm thankful for the finances that I have to pay for my car note, if I have, if you have a car note, right? If you don't have a car note, be thankful that your car is paid off, paid for, right? So I'm thankful for the finances that are in the bank, that I can buy myself food. I'm thankful for the ability to go in the grocery store and shop and uh, pick out whatever that food is that I want, that I like, right? Um, I'm thankful for the ability to retire, have a choice. I'm thankful for the choice to retire, right? Do we have a choice to retire? If we do, we need to be grateful for that choice, right? Do we have it? I'm thankful for the gifts that God has given me. I'm thankful for the ability to utilize the gifts that God has given me to share with others in the world, right? It's not about us. <laughs> it's not about us. Even though we think so sometimes, really the mission is about God and what he wants us to do in this lifetime. So I'm super grateful, super grateful for that. Uh, you can be numbering these if you're numbering them. I have them numbered, but I, I write mine down. I wrote mine down, and 
And so I look at them and I glaze at them and sometimes I don't have to look at them. I just remember them in my mind. So you can start to remember um, some of these things that you're grateful for. I'm grateful for the ability to think and reason properly. When I want to make decisions, can I reason properly? Can I think straight? Is my mind clear? I'm grateful for a clear mindset. I'm grateful for my eyesight. I'm thankful that I can see clearly. I'm thankful that I don't have pain when I wake up in the morning. And if I do have pain, I'm thankful for the ability to decide how to release that pain, right? You can look at YouTube channels such as mine and find out how to minimize or eliminate the pain and suffering that you might be going through at this point. And by the way, I'm Coach Renee, your holistic health and wellness strategist, bringing you tips and tools and resources on how you can better live your life how you can take back control of your health and your well-being when it comes to your mind, your body, and your soul, right? So on this channel, you'll hear me share many subjects. I'll be talking about food, nourishment, how to, how to select your food. I'll be talking about fitness, how to move your body, how to get out of uh, just sitting all day. I'll be talking about relationships, finances, Right? I'll be talking about different topics. And so I want you to stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I release new videos, and also hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up if you like the information that I am sharing. And share these videos with your girlfriends, with your the women that are in your life, so they too can understand and be educated and motivated inspired on how they can better care for their body in this new year not just this new year but the rest of their years right so that, that is that is my mission and that's what I'm here for and so we all want to drive nobody wants to no one wants to be in pain and agony and before I get off topic, let me get back on topic about this thankful Thursday. I have a lot to share, a lot, lot, lot to share, a lot to share. So, um, <coughs> so, Back on track. Thankful Thursday. Thankful Thursday. So I'm I'm thankful for all the closed and open doors that God has allowed in my life. I'm thankful for the open doors where He allows me to go straight through it with ease, without <coughs> excuse me, without pushing my way through, without stumbling over things that's in front of me, when God opens a door, he allows us to go straight through it with ease. I'm thankful for the doors that he closes, those doors that I never want to go through, I don't ever want to see. And so when He God closes the door, sometimes it could be a door closed in a form of you didn't get accepted for a job offer, right? Or you didn't get a business loan. Sometimes God, he knows best what we need when he closes those doors. And we don't, we shouldn't ask God why. We shouldn't ask God why. We should thank him. Say, I'm thank, thank you, God, for closing that, that door because you already knew on the other side what it was going to be like, right? That job that I didn't get, that supervisor position that you wanted, and God said no. He said no, not right now. Sometimes God say maybe, maybe later. Then when he says yes, he opens that door wide. He opens that door wide open for you to go through it with ease, without struggle, without 
arguments, without pain, without whatever. He sends you right through that door without any type of problem, with ease. All right, so I am thankful for the ability to have learned from my faults, my frustrations, and my fears. Right? We go through frustrations in life. We have, again, disappointments. We have faults. And we have fears. I'm thankful that God brought me through those frustrations. He brought me through my fears. And he brought me through my faults. That's amazing. That is an absolute blessing. So we, we have to think about those things sometime. And, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, this is like, it's almost like a science. You know, God gives me these messages to share with you, you ladies. And for those of you who are listening, um, I, I pray that you will take what I'm sharing with you and utilize it as best you can in your everyday lives because it's important for us to keep a healthy mindset when we're going through things in life, when we're going through challenges in our life. And this is one of the ways that we get through those challenges is by um, getting intimate with God, getting to know God on an intimate level. And this is when we can hear God talk to us and, you know, how do we get intimate with God? One of the ways to get intimate with God is by studying his word on a daily basis. That is one of the ways that we get intimate with God and we get to know who he is, right? Because when we have that intimate relationship with God, he speaks to us in language. <laughs> he speaks to us in ways that Nobody else will understand, and only we hear him. And we want to hear God when it's time for us to move. When I say move, I'm talking about when God asks us or admonishes us to do a certain thing in our lives, we need to move. But how will we know that it's from God unless we have an intimate relationship with him? Because God is very clear when he talks to us. He's not, matter of fact, he's not um, vacillating back and forth. You know, God is very clear when he talks to us. He's not like us. You know, we can't make up our mind when we want to do it, how we want to do it, what to do. We can't make up our minds. But God is not like that. He knows exactly what he wants, who he wants to do it. And he puts assignments on our lives that we don't always understand and we don't know what it is because we don't have that direct, intimate relationship with God. And I, I will tell you this, it's a beautiful thing when you know God and you understand him and you can hear from him clearly. You won't hear an audible voice. The Holy Spirit will speak to you and say, Renee, this is the assignment I have on your life. It's a very clear message. And I say, okay, God, I'm not fighting with you. I'm going to do exactly what you asked me to do. I'm not fighting, right? I'm going to do exactly what you asked me to do. And it may not look good, right? It may look scary. Fear. Fear is nothing. When we, when we procrastinate, that's fear. When we procrastinate on assignment that God places before us, that's nothing but fear. When we procrastinate on doing things that we know is right, that's fear of the unknown. We don't know what's on the other side, right? So we, we get scared. We get scared. That scarcity mindset that keeps tripping us up, keeps coming in. So how do we overcome that? How do we overcome the fear and the scarcity mindset by getting intimate with God? All right. Back to Thankful Thursdays. Back to Thankful Thursdays. All right. What else can we write down? Are you writing? I hope so. I hope so. So I'm looking at my notes because I have so much on my brain to share that I want to stay on track. So that's why I have my notes 
uh, ready. So I'm thankful to be free, to finally be me and to be free, free from the corporate world, doing what everybody else wants me to do. Now I'm on a mission to do what God has ordained me to do, right? I am on an exciting, exciting mission to do exactly what God has ordained me to do. And that is living, first of all, my best holistic life ever, right? Traveling around the world to other places and countries that I've never seen, witnessing other people, cultures, nature, diversity. God has freed me to do that and to teach, educate, motivate, and inspire you into some sort of action. So I love what I do now. I love what I do. It's not a job. It's almost like I, I, I go to bed thinking about, oh my gosh, what can I share with these ladies? What else can I share, God? And I have so much, I have so much. And that's why I have to stay focused and write things down so I don't get off track. Like today is Thankful Thursday, so I need to stay focused on what I am thankful for and share with you what you should be thankful for. And you can write down whatever I'm sharing with you and implement that into your daily life and say, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. I am grateful for the ability to walk outside without pain, right? I am thankful that I can go to the grocery store and just pick up whatever groceries I want to feed my body, the body that God created. I'm thankful for new business opportunities, right? I'm thankful for the ability that God is getting ready to introduce me to people and places that I've never seen, met, or heard of, right? These are the things that I'm grateful for. I am so thankful for this ability to be able to get ready to do that. I'm pouring my egg over my broccoli right now. That's what I'm doing. It's going to be like a broccoli egg omelet kind of sort of like. So I'm creative when it comes to cooking. I told you I cook. I create meals that... People like, huh? How did you do that? But that's what I enjoy doing. That's one of the things I enjoy doing is creating healthy meals. Healthy, simple, delicious meals, right? Healthy, simple, delicious meals. And so back to back to um just trying to get some quinoa. I'm gonna have some quinoa with this. So I'm gonna add some quinoa that's already cooked. All right, so let's see, what else? I am thankful for my body's ability to heal naturally, right? Our bodies were made to heal naturally. It's in God's word, it's in God's word. Our bodies were made to heal naturally. Through foods, the foods that he gave us, that he created in the beginning. I am so thankful. How do our bodies heal naturally? With the fruits, vegetables, the vitamins and minerals that's inside these fruits and these vegetables. When we take action, when we decide in our mind that that's what we want, to do, our bodies will heal naturally. It starts in the mind, ladies. It starts in the mind. How to heal our bodies naturally starts right here in the mind. And we have to say, I can't heal. I am healed. I am healthy. I am in no more pain. No more pain. And I, there's scriptures, all sorts of scriptures that talk about natural healing and God's word. And Sorry, I don't have those on me right now, but I'll, I'll, I'll get those out to you and share what those are. Maybe I'll put them in the description below. Speaking of description below, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and take some time and just subscribe right now. 
Also, hit the like button, give me a thumbs up, and share, you know, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and share this video with other women that you know who are looking to live a healthier and happier lifestyle in 2024. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I submit a new video, release a new video. This helps YouTube's algorithm get these videos out to many other women in the world and it also helps me as I embark on this new journey, this new mission that God has me on because you will see me across the country, around the world, doing these videos and in beautiful places and beautiful spaces with beautiful people that I've never met, seen, or heard of. And so I want you to be a part of this journey and to see how God just so eloquently does things. You know, God never ceases to amaze me in what he does. He never ceases to amaze me. So I, I want you to be a part of my journey and to see that and to witness that with me. Um, so what else are you thankful for? There's many things to be thankful for in this life, this thing called life, right? And the next thing on my list I have is... Let's see, I, have the, I am grateful for the ability to create and design. I'm a great creator, I'm a great designer. I love to design foods, as you can tell, create healthy dishes, I love designing clothes. Um, I have a fitness line out there called uh, P31, at, uh, P31 at leisure.com, that's in the comments below as well. And everything that I do in my life has to do with God. I always include God in every business I try to make, create, and include him. Because without God, I cannot do anything. I cannot do nothing. I am nothing. So I um, try to, my, my, my goal is to include God in every single thing that I do. Every work that I do, every mission that I take, whatever that is. And that's just how I live my life for as long as I can remember. I've always wanted to include God, right? Um, and that should be your mission as well. If we love God, we have to have him as the CEO of our life, our business, and everything, our relationships. He's the CEO. We have to consult him before we do anything, right? So, um, so I, what did I say? I, I'm grateful for the ability to, um, be able to create and design because that's a skill. That's a gift. That's not just, you, you, I mean, you can learn it overnight, but it's also a gift when you can automatically come up with ideas and designs in your mind. That's a gift from God, right? And remember, when I talk about gifts, God's gave, given you a gift that nobody can take or use. Even if they try to, if they try to steal your gift, your thoughts or whatever, and they can never produce it the way that you can because God gave you a unique gift. You know, there are many health and wellness coaches out there in the world. And if you, if you think about it, the market could be saturated. You know, there's many holistic health and wellness coaches in the world. The market is saturated, but there's not any like I can. I'm unique in my own way because God gave me that gift to deliver the message to you in a way that nobody else can. Maybe nobody else will listen, right? So that is called a gift. That's my gift and I'm making sure that I use it in, in this retirement state. And that's why I'm so thankful that God gave me the ability to retire early <laughs> because I could not sleep at night for thinking about this is what I wanna do. I don't wanna do anything else. And so, this is Thankful Thursday. Let's get back to a couple more. I'm gonna share a couple more things that I'm grateful for and thankful for. Um, there's hundreds of things that I write down on my list every single day about what I'm grateful for or that I review. Not write down every day, but what I review. I review my list and I also have it ingrained in my mind, the things that I'm most grateful for, all right? So let's see, I'm gonna give you a couple more and then I'm gonna get off of here and eat my breakfast. Um, I'm grateful for the ability 
to finally say no. This is a hard one. I'm grateful for the ability to finally just say no. No more. It's okay to say no. Stop saying yes to everything, everything somebody asks you to do, stop saying yes. Because we think it's something wrong with us if we say no or yeah, right? So it's okay to say no. I'm sorry, I'm not able to go with you. I can't do this or I can't buy that. Maybe next time, but not right now. It's okay. We have to stop being yes women. Yes to everything that somebody asks. Yes to everything that somebody says. Yes to everything, everything, yes, yes, yes. At the meeting, can you make this meeting? Yes. Can you make this event? Yes. Can you make this store? Yes. It's okay to say no. It really is. So I'm grateful that I finally learned and figured out that it's okay to say no. In a nice way. In a nice way. I am grateful, I am thankful to have moved out of fear into faith. I am thankful, I am grateful that I have moved out of the box of fear and into the open space of faith. What does faith look like to you? Does faith look like getting in your car, driving across the country? Does faith look like going to a new country that you've never been in by yourself? Does faith mean getting out of an abusive relationship that no longer benefits you? And a relationship could mean friends, it could mean family, it could mean courtships, whatever that thing is. Does faith look like having the ability to take better care of your health and your well-being? Does faith look like inspiring others when you think you don't have the skills and abilities to do so? What does faith look like to you? Does faith look like start reciting positive affirmations to yourself so you can get out of this box right think about those things I'm thankful for the ability to live wherever I want in this world God is everywhere God is everywhere remember he created the heavens and earth he created this world so he's everywhere. <laughs> he's everywhere. Which is why I don't hesitate to move around the country. I don't hesitate. I just go. God give me the resources, I'm gone. He give me the finances, I'm gone. He give me the car, I'm gone. He said I can travel on the planes, I'm gone. Right? Think about how powerful, God is powerful. Do we realize how powerful God is? When somebody says no, he says yes. When somebody says maybe, he says yes. Right? So we have to always remind ourselves, it's not about people. It's about God. It literally is about God. Answering our prayers. When we go to God in prayer and we ask God, he gives it to us. But don't use God. Don't use God and ask him for things when you haven't been obedient. When you, you, you've been yo-yoing around and not doing what God asks you to do, and all of a sudden you need God, don't use God. We use, us, we use each other as people all the time. And that's a not of God. We use one another. And that's not of God. Right? God sees, knows everything. He's omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent, everything. He sees, he knows everything, and he's everywhere. So we can't trip up God. We can't psych him out like we try to psych each other out. 
right? We cannot psych out God. We can't psych God out. It ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. So, what else are you thankful for? I'm thankful for God's blessings. I'm thankful for God's, God's grace. I'm thankful for His mercy. God has mercy on us all the time. Every day, He has mercy on us. When we don't listen, we're hard headed, we're disobedient, right? We do our thing. We think it's right for us. And God said no, and we, we keep on doing it. And God's grace, he steps in and said, I'm going to give you grace, my grace, my amazing grace, amazing grace God gives us all the time. And we still not thankful. We're still not thankful. So we have to sit, get intimate with God, and say, Father, I'm sorry. Accept my apology. I'm going to do better. I want to please you, not man. I want to please you in everything I do. Because I love you. I love you, God. And we have to act like we love God. We say it, but our actions speak louder than words. We have to stop saying things and move into action. And that's gonna be an upcoming video, so stay tuned. Make sure you have subscribed and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I get ready to do that video because it's upcoming real soon. All right, beautiful. I've given you a few, less than I really wanted to, but I hope this is a good start for you and you get the gist of what I'm trying to educate you on, right, about becoming intimate with God, getting to know who God really is. We've learned who God was from our ancestors, from our parents, from our great-grandparents, from our grandparents. We learned who God was. But we're at a stage in our life now where it's we really should already be intimate with God, right? We already should know when we hear from God, right? So I challenge you to get into intimate with God, getting closer to God, getting in his word daily. And if you come across a scripture that you don't quite understand, look it up. Do your research. Words are in the Bible that don't make sense because we don't understand the meaning behind it. Do your research and look up those words, whether it's in Hebrew, you know, um, because they have meaning behind God's words. We can't just read over it and say, oh, this is what this means. You know, we, you know, which is why we have to study for ourselves. And God said it in his words, study to, to show yourself approved of his word. And I'm paraphrasing. We can't always listen to the Bible's teacher we can't always listen to the minister we can't always just listen to somebody else tell us we have to search his word and know his word for ourselves because ultimately we are responsible for living the life that god expects us to live obedience right serving one another we need to serve one another stop using one another serve we are servants of god we are messengers we have to be the messenger to help others, right? Okay, I'm going to enjoy my breakfast, right? This is what my meal looks like right now. It's broccoli, egg, casserole with some quinoa. So I got, you know, remember I talked in my previous video, one of my videos about how we should get at least green vegetables into our diet daily diet twice a day at least so yesterday um you know you could catch up yesterday i had a a kale and romaine smoothie with avocado and peaches oh my gosh it was delicious so that was one of the ways that i got two forms of my daily greens right then last night i had the asparagus so that was three times a day so 
find a way to get your greens in your daily meals at least twice a day so you can get the fiber and the vitamins and the nutrients that you need to eliminate those toxins and those poisons that's there that's inside your body that's in that's hiding in doorman right so we need to push those out that helps eliminate those which is why I do the liquids in the morning all right so much for this video and I'm going to say have yourself an amazing day remember to stay whole healthy and happy this is coach Renee your holistic health and wellness strategist coming to you every single week or every day with tips tools and resources on how you can become healthier for your mind your body and your soul all right all right beautiful take care and be blessed